So if you're watching around the world, this is Bishop Bonnie from World Mission USA. Heaven is real. Have your safe place. You know, welcome, please. All of our deaconess in the house, please. If you're there, just come outside, please. All our deaconesses, please. Come forward, please. Amen. So bring me, bring me that first, that big, that big ornament. I want to just appreciate all of you for your service. You've been so awesome. So this is um, a very special gift for all of you. God bless all of you. So, ah, it's heavy. Okay, so that is a very special dress. I can make can so many dress you like for all of you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Oh, take some picture there, bro. Hey. <laughs> Mr. Lay, I feel so much better. You are right behind. So better. Better. <laughs> <laughs> okay. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. This is when I do an essay. You know what they did for the committee? With all of you, they were laboring for all this time. So God bless you for that. Thank you very much. Okay, all our dickens, please come forward, please. All our dickens. Wow. I like this goal, okay? Wow. God bless you. So, you guys can. Don't forget Mr. Mr. Romeo. <laughs> <laughs> you can take a picture of him okay? Hallelujah, Lord. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Amen. We are blessed today in Jesus' name. Amen. For, the, for everybody in church, I have a gift for everybody today. Wow. At, the end, at the end of the service, you have a gift. Let's just pray for one minute, okay? God, let's go to God's word. Just take up your hand. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I want to be genuine. I want to be genuine child of God. Can you just focus on me? Lord Jesus, help me, Lord. I want to be among the number. I want to make sure. And to make sure. And to make sure. And to make sure. I don't deceive myself the last day. I don't want to miss the blessing. In Jesus' name. Amen. Have your safe place. So what I'm teaching today, I've not taught it before. I took time to prepare. I'm teaching the pastors on um, the pastor mentoring around the world this same subject. True discipleship, the ministry pattern of Jesus Christ. So I want you to get those on the screen, please, please allow me and get a good background. I want to get change the background. I cannot see the writing there, so get something best on the screen, please, and follow. Okay. Amen. So say discipleship. 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 discipleship that is the ministry pattern of Jesus Christ when Christ came on earth Christ was a come and I'll make you a prophet he called who? disciples and this is very interesting look at the world today look at the churches that are established for life what do they do? There, there are three churches that are unshakable. One Jehovah Witness. To take one of the members, you need special grace. <laughs> what do they preach? Special that you don't preach. They don't, they don't even have, they don't even know the scriptures more. But they are disciples. What about the Mormon? I went to visit the Mormon headquarters. Those guys are. Uh, Mm. Serious discipleship. What about Catholic Church? From class one, is that any work? No, no. Is that any work? Catechism. <laughs> you didn't catechism in Catholic school? Yes. Catechism. Right from class primary school one. If you go to school, school as a Catholic student, you are almost become a priest. <laughs> but now what about Pentecostal churches preaching and preaching and preaching Jesus did three things 
They preach in the street. They taught in the synagogue and healed the people. Jesus preached and taught and then make miracles and train. Say Jesus. Jesus. Say Jesus. Jesus. Taught in the synagogue. synagogue. Preach in the street. In the street. And men taught the twelve. No. Say Jesus preach in the street. Jesus. Taught in the church. Jesus. And then answer question to the disciples. The men taught the disciples. They were special to them. So discipleship is the ministry pattern of Jesus. This morning will be this journey that will be very difficult because some people will, will be, some things will be falling off the road. Amen. So today let me just define discipleship. Who is a disciple? Let's look on that today. Who is a disciple? A disciple number one is a learner or a student. A disciple is what? A learner or a student. I want, I want us to get to the Bible, please. Philippians 4 verse 9. A disciple is a learner or a student. So Christ wants... Mr. Brown, yes. come over. Okay. When you join a church, what do you become? A member. A member. That's why the church is suffering. You join an organization, member. Not a disciple. You should become what? A disciple. Huh? Not a member. Yes. Membership is by putting your name in the list. You are my disciple. Know what I mean? Do as I do. Yes. That's called what? So there are so many members with no life, no character, no training, no nothing. That's why the church has so because you have members of denominations. But they are not yet disciples of Jesus. So you are a learner. Philippians 4, keeps saying, okay, verse 9. Those things which you have both learned and received and seen in me. The things you have seen, the things you have learned, the things which you have both learned. And received and heard and seen in me. You do. What do you do? Learn and do what you do. No. Read the message again. The, both those, those things which we have both learned and received and heard and seen in me, your pastor. What do you do? What? Do. 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 You do. 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 What do you do? The same thing with the test. What do you do? What you, have, what you have learned and received and heard and seen in me and do. So Paul is saying what? Those things which you, Mr. Brown, have both learned, received, heard and seen in me do. So I say to you, Mr. Brown, I'm your bishop, okay? The things you have learned from me, the things you have received from me, the things you have seen me do. Yes. That makes you what? Not just a member. Disciple. God bless you, amen. Clap for him, please. I like, I like him. It's a serious man. Amen. How many students are here? A disciple is a learner, is a student. So coming to Christ is coming into discipleship. You now are enrolled into the body of Christ to learn. A learner. And it's a very serious Christ. Christ took them up the mountain. He took them to in the sea. He took them in the night in Gethsemane. Christ took them you know, they followed him by the seaside, by the sea coast. Out of the desert, they were learning. You cannot be a disciple until you begin to learn. 
So because many believers around the world are now looking for a place to receive some feel good feelings, good good declarations, they now forget that the goal of the church is to become what? Disciple. The goal of the church is to make what? Disciple. Jesus said, go into the world and make disciples. No discipleship, no church rapturable. It takes that serious consciousness to know and to know and to know that I am a student. I'll go deeper into this. Amen. Now, Philippians chapter 4, verse 9. Um, Miss, Miss, uh, Miss, uh, Miss, Miss, Os Miss Oscar, come here. Philippians 4, verse 9. Follow me, please. Amen. Are you there? Amen. Philippians 4, verse 9. Those things which you have both learned, learn from who? Can I have a mic here, please? Give me a mic. Those things you have learned, you learn from who? From the first. Not from Jesus. Who do you learn from? From Jesus. You fail. <laughs> Jesus is not a pastor of any church in the world. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, in this class in Philippians, who is the teacher? I told you, Mr. Oscar. Who is the teacher? Paul. What is the subject? Jesus. Jesus. Amen. In this class, who is the teacher? Bishop. <laughs> Well, this class, this is at the class of the Bible is okay. In this class here, who was the teacher? Oh. What was the subject? Jesus. Say, say Jesus. Jesus. Is a subject. But Jesus is not the, the teacher. Say that one. Jesus is our subject. But Jesus is not your, your teacher. Okay, let me go back in. I said, what well, Jesus is what? And Jesus is not your teacher. Now, Paul is saying, those things which you have both learned, learned from who? From Paul. And received, received from who? From Paul. You just said again. And heard, heard from who? Paul. And seen, seen from who? Oh. Then do what? Do and the God of peace shall be with you. Amen. So Paul stood before them to show them Jesus. Amen. Paul went as a missionary to, they can, so they can learn Jesus. They can receive Jesus. They can hear the teachings of Jesus. And Paul is saying, the things you have now heard, learned, heard, received, heard, seen in me, do. That is the beginning of Christianity. The day I received Christ to the first April 84, I was a local ch look at church called Focus on Montengene. I received Christ on a Thursday. On Sunday, I was baptized by Bishop Tengi Efren. I mean, he held my hand like this. Will you receive, will you, have you received Christ? Yes. I baptized you what? And he beat me. I became what? He said, Wednesday Bible studies. Friday prayer meeting. Sunday service. And he said, as you go home, read the book of John. I was studying from a teacher of the Bible. He was teaching me Jesus. I didn't see Jesus, I saw a preacher. And I learned Christ from him. Mm -hmm. The subject is what? Jesus. The teacher is who? Jesus. Are you a student yet? So, in this class is not a place of theory <laughs> and a place of what they do. Say Tanika College. Now, Sit down, okay, thank you. Anybody here went to grammar school? 
Kto na pomysł? Ewa mówi, ten jaka koleć? Ten jaka koleć je? Ewa mówi, ten jaka koleć? Any IT student here? Any IT student here? Come, come forward, please. Come to you. Okay. Hello. Can you dismantle a laptop and feed it back? Not at all, just platform. <laughs> 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 The difference between grammar school and technical school, who know? I don't even teach her. What's the difference between grammar school and technical college? Oh. So grammar school is what? Chalkboard. <laughs> grammar school is what? Chalkboard. How to pronounce words, how to write, talking, talking. Okay. Then can call this is what? Skill of mass on the means to do more of hand knowledge. Then do it. So which one are you? Delica College, they say cut this seven by seven. You make a mistake, the piece is damaged, you You know, as a tailor, as a seamstress, you need to come according to pattern. You are learning that workshop. Amen. Go to Miss Miss um, Simone. She has a technical school. Yeah. Girls learn how to do hairdressing in a college. Right. You must know how to use what chemical, what match, to what color. It's called what technical college, and they are disciples of Simone in a shop. They are what? Amen. And my wife is one of the customers. <laughs> So Christianity is not is not grammar school. So when they see grammar school Christians, they are theologians. They are religious people. Okay, Look at me, please. I'm, today I'm, I'm I'm following you today. Say so grammar school Christianity is what theology. theology and what religion. Theology and religion. Okay. Say so grammar school Christianity is what theology and religion. It's all I had knowledge. Why technical college Christianity is what? Practical. The line says, see me, do it. So Christianity is more than just head, head knowledge. It's doing. Amen. Being. Come, clap for them, please. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So we have raised up grammar school Christians. They can speak all the tongues, but no life. Grammar school Christian, they can write all the essays, they can pass all the exams, but no Christ form in them. Grammar school Christianity is Christianity without a practical life. Now let's see the process here, please. Those things which we have both learned and received and heard and seen in me, do. So that is the foundation of discipleship. You begin to decide to do something, to learn something, and to do something. Amen. Amen. And that is now why many Christians have problems because they have not yet enrolled into the school of Christ. Now, to be a student, there is a price. Because a student does not behave anyhow in classroom. The student go to class, there are rules in the class. There are rules in the class. You go to class, students can be dismissed. Is that true? Yes. There are rules in class. So today I want you to find out Will you enroll into the school of discipleship <coughs> and decide that Lord from today, the 20th of June, I want to become a disciple. I want to become a disciple. Lord Jesus, I want to become a disciple. 
I want to become a disciple. And take it serious. Now, to be a student, I asked one of my teachers, what is the goal? What is the, the goal of studies? What is the, the, the rule of being a student? Studying. No one study takes. Say studying. Studying. Why studying? To deal with the concepts and change your mind and give you new information. New information. New understanding. New 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 light. Second Timothy place two verse one and two. So the first definition of a disciple is what? Is what? A learner, a student also. So I become a student. Become a student. Amen. Now, for me, I was a Catholic all my life. Okay? And to be a Catholic, you must learn catechism. It's difficult to be a Catholic. Very difficult. Because you must learn when to sit, when to stand. Is that true? Don't visit the Catholic Church in the service, you'll be confused. Sometimes we do what? We sit. Sometimes you stand. Sometimes you make what? So if you are not used to the system, you'll be sitting up when others are standing. <laughs> okay. So I was used to Catholic system. Okay, I was used to my rosary. Our father used to pray to the saints. It was easy to just recite those things. But now I went to my first service in the full gospel church. Test day, April 21st, 1984. I saw something different. You know? Bam, 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 Hallelujah! Bam, bam. I see what is happening here. They're crazy. <laughs> Can you imagine? Clap your hands, somebody! Bam, bam. Can you clap five times? Clap this way. Clap this way. Clap it. I said, this is my message of the church. Church is holy ground. No noise. What can you clap out in church? But gradually, I was learning now. I started knowing why they, they sing, why you shout, why you praise God. Amen. And my, my questions were being answered. Amen. Amen. Now, 2 Timothy 2, verse 1 and 2, please. Can we go there, please? Say, a disciple, a disciple is a learner. Is a learner. Number two, please. Second Timothy 2, verse 1 and 2. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others. So please, let me just invite all of you to you, you. Please come forward, please. Come on, Sophia. Now, let me say you stand in front, okay, stand in front. You stand, face me, please, face me, face me. You are thou, my son, Timothy. The things that you have heard of me, I teach you. What do you do with that teaching? Stand behind me. You teach her. What do you teach her? What did you teach her? The things which have been taught, I teach her. What do you teach the other person? The things he has taught me, I teach him. Why not new revelation? I have not, I'm just a student, I don't have any revelation yet. What I've been taught is in me, is what I want to pass on to the other person. You have enlightenment by it teaching you to give the word understanding. So, I disciple you, teaching you Christ. You also do what? Teach him what? The things you have learned. The same things. So we preserve the message to generation. We preserve the message. No corruption. The apostles, say the apostles, learn from Jesus. And they hand the message to Timothy and the rest. And Paul is saying, Thou, therefore, my son, be strong in the grace of Christ Jesus, the things that thou have heard of me among many witnesses, the same. Underline the same. Say the same. The same. 
the same message to you, the same message to her, the same message to her, the same discipleship. God bless you, please. Amen. So that is when Christianity begins. And those people who are not willing to be disciples, they are causing confusion in churches. Not here in World Mission. Amen. Amen. It's a discipleship. So believers that will go to heaven are true disciples. Now, have you ever seen the, the fish sign? You know the fish sign behind a car? You know the fish sign? sign? The fish sign. The fish sign. The fish sign. Okay. The, the fish sign. Have seen it also? That sign came around AD 70. AD 70. In Jerusalem. The key in Nero was to destroy all Christians, burn the whole city. The emperor set fire in the palace and accused that Christians had burned the palace. And now every Christian should be killed. That's when Israel, that's when Israel ended. AD 70. So the, those who are working in the emperor, they came with a sign, say sign, sign. the fish sign. So when he said Christian, he made, he made what? You know that I also, I also do the same thing, I'm, I'm what? So that was a sign that I'm a Christian. They will not show you where to hide. So those that did not receive that information perish. Because for me to tell you where the Christians are hiding, you must know the sign. Okay? <laughs> so you have made a fish sign and you don't know, you are not a Christian, you are not a disciple of Peter. So only disciples knew the sacred sign and where to hide. So those who were casual people, Without following the, the information, they, know, they did not receive the information and they perish with the rest. So discipleship, I become a student. For instance, okay, oh, my, my son David King is also a musician. If I go to him to become a musician, I become his disciple. I don't argue with him. So put your finger like this. I follow instruction to learn from him. I put out, I put out all of my own understanding. If, for example, Miss Bessie is in the choir and Miss uh, Rachel is the choir leader and she's teaching, you learn from her also. You don't argue, you learn. When the church, when the church stopped learning, the church stopped being disciples of Christ. Now they are now different ideas, different doctrines, different concepts that are not in the Bible. So come back to the church of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, give me the grace, give me the grace to, be willing to be willing to learn. To learn. Now the question I want us to see here, Amen. I pose this question to the pastors, our pastors group. And you know, there are many bishops who have not been taught. It's sad to say that. There are many apostles who are not going to Bible college, but to the right Bible college. So they have not been taught a lot of things. So I ask them, can Jesus Christ, is Jesus Christ, can Jesus Christ be a pastor of somebody today? Yes. He just failed. Since when? I can just be a pastor. But it's enough. Can Jesus can be somebody's pastor? Can Jesus can be somebody's pastor? How? No, no, that's not pastor. Even, even Jesus, he said what? To the angel of what? Every, so every Christian is under a pastor. The pastor is called what? The angel of the church. Now let me surprise you. Say surprise me. In Acts chapter 10, verse 1 and 2, an angel came from heaven to a man called what? I said, angel, call for? Call for Peter. <laughs> okay. Angel appeared to what? A man called Connect. Acts 10. It says what? Call for what? I cannot do it. Peter is in charge. Call for Peter. Jesus Christ cannot be your pastor. 
It's like saying God is my father, my, my mother in heaven. It's a spiritual father, but not physical. Amen. Jesus Christ is our Savior, our Lord. And in, in the church of Jesus, the church of Jesus Christ is a church of disciples. Jesus cannot be your pastor. Impossible. Hello. Let me ask another question. Pastor, my name, my name is Can Jesus baptize you in water? No. Huh? No way. <laughs> okay. No way. Is that possible? So Jesus cannot be a pastor of a church. Jesus cannot pastor a church. Because Jesus has a pattern, a pattern for his church. And the pattern is through what? Discipleship. Let me first change. Number one is a Christian is what? A learner, a student. So today I want us to bring to come back to this place. Okay. That when you are born again, you are now a learner. Now the question is, from who do you learn? I said last Sunday that there are two things. You know, Mr. Brown, can you choose your country of birth? Can you choose your parents? Why not, why not wish to be born by Clinton? Not possible. You cannot choose your, your, you cannot choose your parents. It's divine. You cannot choose the church in which you are born again. It's divine. Amen. Amen. I don't know if it's a divine opinion. <laughs> are you following me also? You cannot choose the church you are born again. It's a divine arrangement from heaven. Amen. Amen. You cannot choose your natural parents. You cannot choose your spiritual parents. God, God arranges these things in his own mysterious way. Hallelujah. In a small church here one day, there are like maybe 20 members. The reality church has potential. The colonel in charge of the military of Cameroon is in that church. It's a member of that church. They'll be speaking there right now. The Lord born again through me. <coughs> Amen. Amen. It's in charge of all the human resources for military Cameroon. He did not choose that church. He did not choose that church. I did not choose it to be born again through me. One day I just saw a little man, he was sick, they, they came to my office. I didn't know it was a colonel. He was poisoned. And I prayed for him, he got healed the same day. I became my disciple. For all the years I've been waiting for one mission to, to be open, until finally it's open last year, and it's there now. Amen. 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 Say never. Amen. Jesus Christ Jesus is my Savior, is my, savior. Is, my Lord. is my Lord. May he place me under somebody. Amen. Accountability. Amen. He placed under somebody's spiritual oversight. That is discipleship. You can be richer than your pastor. You can be educated than your pastor. Heaven doesn't care about that. You can know more than your pastor. Heaven doesn't care about that. Amen. 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 If I was the bishop of Jerusalem, I would transfer Peter to Antioch and Paul to Rome. Paul to Jerusalem. Why? Well, Paul is educated. That is what? Paul is good to argue with all these Pharisees. But God did not do it that way. God sent the man that did not know even letters to do what? To be in Jerusalem. And Paul with all his education to go to where the Canegri arrived. <laughs> Can you imagine? Paul who has all the learning was now in Gentile countries. They don't need his theology. God arranged it that way. Amen. 
Say, Lord, help me to begin to learn. Amen. Number two, who is a disciple? Number one is what? The student. Number two is a follower. Disciples are called followers. First Corinthians 11 verse 1 is a very short verse. Disciples are followers. Hallelujah. Mr. Leon, do you have any disciple? Somebody you are teaching to become like you? It's, you see, you know, let me give you a mystery, okay? The Lord opened my eyes to see this, okay? Amen. Come, mother, please. Come. Amen. Come, mother. Come. Amen. Do you know why God chose the world to be two families? Discipleship. Train of a child in the way. Who trained the child? Neighbors. The child, the child should follow. The child will follow who? The way you eat, the child will. What you eat? What you eat? Where you live? And what you like? No, gradually. Gradually, it's how do you do what? Discipling that child to eat egg in the morning. Eat, eat this in the morning. To wear this. And the child said, follow you to church. Amen. Amen. You are blessed. So, the same way, maybe, keep standing, keep standing, please. Amen. You can be 50 years, but when you are born again, you are, you are what? A child. Let me say, friend, you can be 45 years, when you are born again, you are what? A spiritual child. And that child needs to be fed with what? With milk. Somebody needs to feed you. Now, it cannot be angry with your mother. Can, you, can this child argue with you? No, mother, I don't want to go to Maryland. Not possible. Where you are going, she has no choice. <laughs> Amen. When a child is growing, Amen. To one day, she is married and sent for to her own home. She will not deliver her first child and begin now to let the things she has learned from you. Gradually, she will cook as a grandmother. <laughs> Is that true? Yes, sir. God bless you, please. God bless, okay. Amen. So that is the pattern of the world. To rest up. Now, the verse says, can we read the verse together, please? Second Timothy, that is first Corinthians eleven, verse one. Can we try to get up. It says what? One go, one go. Be followers of me as as I am of Christ. One more time. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. Amen. Can be said Daniel. To be follower means what? Stand behind me. Stand behind me. Okay. <laughs> now, okay, listen, okay. Now, if your legs are short, put your leg, okay. You see my leg also? Place your leg where my leg is. I'm going to move, okay? I'm going to also. You see my leg also? You see how it's, it's, it's how to strain also? Amen. Hallelujah. That's serious. Amen. Amen. Say when I'm born again. When I'm born again. I become a follower. Now let me give you something that will help you to think. Whose follower are you? Because I know that we are followers of Jesus. Is that true? Don't forget that our subject is what? Say my subject is Jesus. Say my subject. It's Jesus. it's Jesus. My example, My example. is not Jesus. Mm -hmm. Our servant is Jesus. Now listen, eh? I'm not praying the way Jesus guys taught me. I'm praying the way Bishop Tebi taught me from, from, from orientation class. I'm not praying the way the Holy Ghost taught me. I'm praying the way Full Gospel Church taught me. It looks funny, but that's true. 
If you are born again in a different life, you will not pray the way I pray. You pray differently, that's all. That's right. If you are born again in a mountain of fire, you will not pray the way we pray here. You are taught differently. Amen. Can't possibly I'm okay. Come, Miss Miss Miss. Now you are born again through this woman. Okay. You are born again. She preached to you. You are born again. Who are you following? Jesus. You, you are not a Jesus today. <laughs> you are born again through her. Okay. Who are you following? Give her a microphone, please. Let me, let me bring the, word, the meaning of the word follow. She preached to you, you are born again. Who, who do you follow? That means what? She now said, okay, morning prayer at what time? 5 a.m. Evening prayer at what time? 7 p.m. Bible studies, what is this? Fasting. You start learning Christ from her. You don't know, you don't see Jesus. You know, you learn Jesus from a spiritual leader. From your day you're born again. Amen. Amen. You now begin to follow her holiness. He said, no fornication. No adultery. No this. You start getting her words in your ears. Now everybody hear the, your pastor's voice in your ear? Yes. I think that was a child. When I'm tempted, I hear the preaching of my pastor. Hmm. I hear that voice. Hallelujah. Yeah. Keep going. Okay. So gradually, you are following her. Now, look, look at Miss Anne. You look her dress. What is she wearing? <laughs> what are you wearing? <laughs> it's like getting conviction that something is wrong somewhere. <laughs> you know when I got born again, I had this, you know, this very tiny jeans in the 80s. I mean, 80 tiny jeans, you cannot pull it up by yourself. No. Anybody had that kind of jean? No. 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 We saw I went to church the first Sunday, second Sunday, no more, I pulled them off straight away. Nobody talked to me, I just look around. <laughs> I look around, something was wrong with my dressing. <laughs> Amen. 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 You start, you know, everybody have NIV here. Yes. NIV. Uh -huh. Read for me, please. Okay, read for me, please. Allow, please. Can you stand up, please? First Corinthians 11, verse 1. No, First Corinthians 11, verse 1. Oh, is that First Corinthians? You are in rumors, maybe. 11. Oh, yeah. 11. Yes. Any, any, any Abby here? That's what mine says. First Corinthians. Yeah, I'm on First Corinthians 11. What does it say? And you should imitate me just as I imitate you. You should do what? Imitate me. Read that loud. You should imitate me as I imitate Christ. Okay. Tell her, please. Follow my Tell example her. as I follow the law of the example of Christ. Yes. You should, you should imitate me as I imitate Christ. Who was a teacher? Christ. Who your pastor? Also, your pastor. Who taught you? My pastor taught me. I mean, you say you're an apostle. You're an apostle. Who taught you? Paul taught me. I don't okay. Christ. Apostle Peter learned from who? Jesus. Who was a teacher? Jesus. Jesus. Who was a teacher? Paul. Okay. No more Jesus. Jesus taught the apostles in Acts 2 40 42. The church learned what? The apostles' doctrine. Say, Jesus, Jesus taught the apostles. The church learned what the apostles received from Jesus to the church. They call it what? The apostles' doctrine. Is there in the Bible? Okay. So you learn from Christ, but now she's your daughter. She must learn the things Christ has taught you. Yes. She is now your student to pour yourself into her. She now become a follower. Amen. So if you see her kneeling down, 
in church. What do you do? When you see a ruling on the floor and crying, what do you do? It's called discipleship. Amen. You begin to pattern your life in that holy pattern. Amen. Like mother. When now when there's no discipleship, where there's where there is stubbornness now. Mother says, I'm not in there a long skirt. <laughs> oh, daughter says, I know you die. I'm what? Now, something have entered the girl's head also. And God her own way. Not you, okay? So now, you are now enrolled as a student, spiritual student, to learn Christ. Amen. God bless you. Okay, so this is, thank you very much. God bless okay. So this is what the church went out. Because the church now become show centers, display centers, Sunday concert centers, celebration centers, and nobody is focusing on what is the message, why are we here, what is the pattern of Jesus. So come back to discipleship, come back to learn Christ, let Christ be formed in us. Without Christ being forming us, we'll be surprised that we are going our own way out of the nature of Jesus. Say, so follow me, follow me as, I follow. as I follow. Now, so we see here, say the apostles, say the apostles had one to one with Christ also. But now, not, not, the, not the followers of the apostles. What the Lord taught the apostles, the apostles taught the church. And what is the mark of an apostle? Say an apostle, an apostle must see Jesus Christ. That is the first sign of apostle. Hallelujah. I was in my bedroom in, in, in Bible Sam. Jesus entered into my room. This was not a dream. Not a dream. My eyes were open. 3 a.m. I was sitting on my bed and he picked me in the hand and sat down. So I've come to teach you what it takes to succeed in life. He wrote on my wall, humility. So humble yourself and I will use you and he vanish. Not once, not twice. I've seen Christ a lot, a lot of times. So Jesus reveals himself to choosing people. Say choosing people. Choosing people. Jesus revealed himself to choosing people in different generations. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, T.P. Joshua, God used him mightily. He was an illiterate man, but God used him mightily. You can, you can deny that that man, God used him yes. to heal the sick, to raise the dead, to do things. He didn't know the Bible in the beginning, but he learned. Amen. Amen. Pastor Chris, God is, 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 is so these are um, these are apostles, say apostles. apostles. Are they apostles today? Yes. yes. They are servants of God with distinctive ministries raised up by God for generations. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. We have encounters with Jesus to affect generations. Oh, yes. So you will learn. Yes. So learn. Amen. Okay, so who do you follow? Mm. You know, let me just explain. Okay, come, come on, come on, madam. Okay, amen. Don't misunderstand my message. I'm not giving definitions. Amen. Follow me as I follow Christ. That means what? Follow the person. Follow my person. Follow my passion. Amen. amen. Follow my passion. Yeah. Now, if I'm praying, Lord Jesus, have your way. Lord Jesus, have your way. Yes, you Lord Jesus, oh Lord Jesus, oh Lord Jesus. Yeah. Something is missing also. Yeah. When I say Hallelujah, Holy Ghost, what do you say? Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. You cannot be born by a lion. You behave like a like a cat. No way, no way. Not in well measure. Say Holy Ghost. Cannot be born by what? Hey! 
a flame of fire gave like some smoke. So this busy somewhere. You need to become a say disciple. Say disciple. Disciple. Oh, please, let me say that come forward. Okay. Amen. Now, clap hand for the commissioner, please. Clap hand for now. You know, if you want to eat the best before an arrow, who do you call? Okay. I follow me also arrow soup. Listen carefully, amen. She could be some fat arrow soup. I put in the fish for like three weeks. Just eating gradual. But listen, amen. If you want to learn to cook arrow soup, will you come to me? No. Why not? I will lead you astray. <laughs> okay. I will lead you astray. You go to her. Now to cook arrow soup, what do you what do you do? What do you first use? I'll get all the ingredients before I start. Now if you don't have arrow, can you cook arrow soup? No. What? No. You cannot? Yes. What if I want to cook arrow soup I use a cover bomb? No. How can you join two things? The thing that you're supposed to use in a room is to make it soft. If Kongobon cannot soft, it will soft. Clap for her. Clap right. for her. Amen. That shows she knows her subject. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> now, that is the same thing with discipleship. Yes. Amen. So, I, now, if sincerely I want to cook a room, I said, well, I can do it without you. I can do it without you. I was sick with but nobody will eat it. I was sick with Ero. Hey, Mr. Rex, try to cook Ero. I see. You don't know the ingredients, you're going to eat it. Eat it alone. Okay. Oh, my God. So, discipleship and decides to follow. Now, let me surprise you, amen. Who are you following? So I follow the teachings of Jesus, of Jesus through my pastors. Through my pastor. so I follow the teachings follow the of Jesus, Jesus through my pastor. my pastor. That is why there are different schools of thought out there. Mm -hmm. Now, say false religion false shall false religion, false religion begins religion. with men that claim the Lord revealed to them. Yes. Hmm. The Lord a man came to my office and said, the Lord, can you imagine, I think my wife, one pastor ran up to New York, he said, call my wife, said, the Lord revealed to me that you are my wife. I, I was listening, I said, don't just, yes. The Lord revealed to me that you are my wife. Uh -huh. They met in the conference, so the Lord revealed to me, the prophet, that she's my wife. I was listening to the conversation. I said, just come down. <laughs> so, so, like he said, and then so he said, okay, um, he didn't, he didn't come and see my pastor to talk to talk my pastor. Uh -huh. Who is and who I said, call. I said, okay, who are you? Say, I'm prophet. No, the name again, prophet. Who again? Yeah. Prophet, eh? Yeah. So the Lord revealed to you that my Christian is a wife. Say, yeah, the Lord revealed to me. I said, young man, listen, be careful. <laughs> But now listen, this is a prophet with Christians. Yeah. With Christians. And he's saying, he just saw a woman in a conference and he said, the Lord revealed to you that, can you just imagine the damage people are doing in the, in the body of Christ? That's the damage. That's the wickedness today in the churches today. So I follow the, the message of Jesus Christ as taught by my pastor. My sheep hear my voice. Let me explain. Say so all sheep. Now look at me, please. Let me explain again. Amen. There's what they call the sheep pin. The sheep pin. Now for those who are from Cameroon, let me see your hand. You know Cameroon Embassy in Yaoundé? What is in front of Cameroon Embassy? It's a fence of goats and cattle. Did you know the, the former embassy for not the new one now? The, the first embassy 
around Bato, Bato, the, the old Bato, not the new one. Now. If opposite there was an empty ground, it's like cattle market. It's a shipping. Mm-hmm. You, know, you know that place, the old yeah, Bassett? Yeah. The old Bassett. The, the empty space there. Yeah. So, so cattle men will bring their cattle there. From different men, you can get 20, 20, I can bring 10 cattle, 20 cattle, 40 goats, a man, mix them. When the owner comes at the gate, he will make a, he will make a sign. The goats that belong to that man will do what? And follow. All, say all the sheep in one place, but different shepherds. The body of Christ is one body of Christ, but different shepherds. But every sheep in this sheep pin knows the voice of the pastor. All of us are in the same sheep pin. Okay, understand us all? One big fence, all the goat, are, all the sheep are packed there. But now, maybe our pastor, pastor, Helen comes there. Yeah, all she will hear was do what? They know. They start coming out. And then Pastor Bianca will say, hey, 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 hey. They start follow. All the sheep are the same shipping. The different shepherds. Different voices. But they are the same sheep, the same sheepfold. Different shepherds. That's how the body of Christ is. And these these shepherds, their sheep are different, different based on where they grace. Some shepherds are lazy to go far in the bush so that sheep don't eat good grass. So their team, their lead. So your follower, you, 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 you follow the teachings of your pastor. You, you ask him questions. It explains to you. When I got, say when I got born again, when I got born again my pastor was the final say for authority of the Bible in my life. If I have a question, I ask you, my pastor, what he explains to me, it ends all the argument with other churches. When I go outside, somebody said to me, when I was just young, he must baptize in Jesus only. So he told me, will you baptize? I said, yes. How you baptize? I said, Father, Son, the Holy Ghost. I said, no, 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 you must baptize in the beginning. Who do I go to? Pastor. I went back to Pastor Omer. Pastor Omer, this man said, I'm baptized again. He took time to explain to me. That Jesus said what? Go to all the world and do what? Preach the gospel. Baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. So I asked him, why did the apostle baptize in Jesus' name? He said, because John the Baptist baptized everybody already in Palestine. All the Jews believe in the Father, they believe in the Holy Ghost. But they refuse to believe in Jesus. So all if a Jew now believe in Christ, it will baptize him what in the name of Jesus. Why? They are baptized already by John. Wow. Yeah. But go to the Gentiles that they don't know the Father, they don't know the Son, they don't, they don't know the Holy Ghost. How do you baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost? I say, yes, I thank you. Oh, that settles it. Say it. Say my pastor answers my question. Now you don't now disbelieve your pastor. You are in you are in well mission with deeper life mentality. It will not work. You are you are in the wrong place. Or you are in well mission. You are following the teachings of. Or you are, um, of um, I don't know. It does not work. A man, a disciple. Is a true follower. Is a true follower. So you must consciously decide now that Lord, give me the grace to become a disciple. Lord, give me the grace. It takes humility to be a disciple. <coughs> that, that can come okay. Imagine, you know that Jesus Christ was very young. Paul, are you following us? So, can you imagine a thirty-year-old young man? Peter was like 50 years. 20 years gap. I said, follow me. Who was was behind him? Experienced fisherman. And he said, fisherman, from today, 
no more going to the to the sea. That's the worst thing to do with a fisherman. Anybody know about fisherman fish, fishing here? Yes. Listen, eh? The worst thing to talk, uh, tell a fisherman not to go to the sea. That is his life. That is his life. The boat and the sea, that is all his life. Now this fisherman is not sitting down on the grass to listen to Jesus. It's not going with him everywhere. His boat is upside down beside the sea somewhere. His net is kept somewhere. Everything changed. It's not difficult, it's not easy to be a disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Say, Lord, give me the grace. Lord, give me the grace to be a disciple. To be a disciple. See, it takes humility to now say, Lord, today I want to enroll to be a student, to be a learner. Amen. Amen. Our time is up. I think it's almost one o'clock. So we'll continue this next week. We still trying to define discipleship. Give the Lord glory. So much. Hallelujah, Lord. You know, man, can we start a place? Let's just pray. Amen. Amen. So I want to know if anybody here wants to decide to become a disciple. Amen. Mr. Mr. Rex, if the pastor come to church 9 a.m., what time should you come to church? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, understand. If I say I'm I'm getting up to, to take shower at 8 a.m., what time will you get up? So she don't wait until oh it's five minutes to ten. Okay. Hallelujah. Let's just humble ourselves to Christ today to pray. Lord, make me a true disciple. Raise our voice begin to pray. Bararimbia kasara nimbia kosoro biara. Yararimbia kosoro rimbi kisayara. Chiamba karandimbia soro rimbia kayara. Baba bakari di boro koshi kisayoro. Bararimbia kosoro nimbia kaya. Hey, where's that voice meant to pray in tongues? Pray in tongues if you can. Bararimbia kosoro rimbi kisayoro. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. Can you be a consort of the biggest Sabia? Can I be a color in your consort? Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Can I be a consort? Lord, I humble myself before you, Lord.
Let's bring, bring at least two. Let's see. I don't know. They might need more. It's heavy, so to God be the glory. If you are following me, keep following. Okay, don't sign out. We'll see. Going to take our offer and time. Okay, amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Say, so God is good. God is good. So God is good. Wow. Yes, yes. Yeah. Just okay. Just open. Just open. Okay. Just please this way. Open it. Open it. So, this is a very special command. Um, this is it's a favor flow. It's a favor flow. So, why don't you, as you put your tea there, you just, it's just a favor flow. Amen. So, you have two free. All adults, too. Amen. So, please, I want to come, come ahead. So, come, Vicky, please. Vicky, let's, let's get two lines, please. Two lines, okay. Amen. All adults. Faster, please. Come and get two. Yeah, two, please. Yeah, get two, please. Two, two, please. Two, two, please. Come, to Mr. Mr. Vicky, open this one so you can get. Let's go to the both side, okay. Two, two, please. Two, two, please. Two, two. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Open this other side. So, you can come to both sides to save, save the time, okay. Amen. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. God bless you. Let the pain of love. God bless you. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah, Lord. It is flowing. The river of life. Complain. Flowing through my soul. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. No. I can see it. Okay. The river of life. Flowing through my soul. The river of life. It is flowing.
Sorry. Okay, so Mr. Oscar, bring some of my office. Bring some from my office. Just open my office. Thank you. Just open my office and bring some there, please. It is flowing. Hallelujah. Wow. Also, my cup what? I believe that verse. I believe that verse. Say my cup running over. It, can we just can we put your cup down now? Let's pray for our coffee and tight, please. Amen. So believe God as you take your tea day in the morning. Believe God for just prophesy to yourself. Favor must flow. Amen. Say favor must flow. Hallelujah, Lord. This morning I was disturbed. Early in the morning, my phone started beginning beeping. I like there's a sound I like. You know the cash ad sound, the cash ad sound. <laughs> Who that? I don't even know. They say my father, father gives from different states. My phone started beginning. I know the sounds. That sound. <laughs> 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 you know the sound, the cash ad sound. I like it very much. <laughs> Amen. So please, can you put the Z number please on the screen? So if you want to give your offering today. Feel free, let's give our offering. Or want to give your tithe, want to sponsor the church in any way, feel free. Amen. So please, let's begin our tithe, please. Have your tithe come forward, please. Let's pray for you. You have your tithe come forward, please. Let's pray with you, please. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hey, don't sign out. Keep following us, please. Say thank you, Jesus. I have a job. I have tithes. And as long as I am blessed, I will give God my tithes. In Jesus' name. God bless you, please. Father, pray for our audience. Now, those following us around the world, this is world mission. You can give your cash by cash and Ozell this morning. May God bless you.